Right, let's hope for a couple of better games than the last episode. I tell you what has been great since the last episode is our form. The first game after the last episode was a 1-0 away win against Chelsea. Bruno Cesar with the only goal of the game in a match where we did not deserve a point. We then went away from home against Manchester United and won 2-0. Malik Music and Malungu with the goals. Former side Barnsley at next at home and we won 2-0. Pickard with his first goal for the club from the penalty spot and Arnold Gonzalez with a 65th minute uh, goal to put us 2-0 up. It was a game we dominated but if you look at the key chances and chances created, wasn't too good from us really but we got away with it. Next up was a 0-0 away draw against Liverpool. Bruno Cesar, our centre-back getting man of the match, a fantastic result. We then won 3-2 at home against Burnley, Malungu, Pickard and Edouard Sid with the goals. Lucas Pinto, a former man, getting one against us and Aldo Castro completing the scoring for Burnley, but another three points. We then got beat in the League Cup quarter-final away from home against Spurs. They are top of the league and really dominating this season. Rakeem Harper and Yev Tejenko with the goals. And finally, it was a 2-1 away win against former side Crystal Palace, Pickard and Schlupp. With the goals and that says the Premier League table looking like this after 17 games we sit in third place on 34 points only losing three games so far this season a plus 11 goal difference we are performing fantastically we had a bit of a shaky start definitely but we've really really turned things around but we've got two difficult games today in terms of the schedule we have Tottenham Hotspur who now sits second in the league and Leeds United away from home who currently sit in ninth. Now, they were nearly prom promoted alongside ourselves, but it's um, still going to be a difficult side to face away from home in the top half. So without further ado, let's get straight into the first game today against Spurs. This is how we're going to line up. Manon, Bruno, Cesar, Lepic and David in the defence. Music as right wing back, Schlupp as left wing back and Cyan as our defensive midfielder. Edward said Arlen... Oh, no. <laughs> Arnold Gonzalez in the centre of midfield. Malungu and Pickard will start up top. Now, Jeremy Tonto window is fast approaching us. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do with this squad. Um, like our strikers, they might as well not even be on the pitch in this formation and tactic. But uh, does that mean I should invest in better strikers or should I just stick with the ones we've got? Because are they even going to get involved anyway? I just, I don't know. We have gone on the counter straight away against Spurs. Obviously, we've played them recently. In the League Cup quarter-final and we were on attack and we got pretty much dominated the entirety of the game. So we're starting on counter, let them come at us and hopefully we'll be able to catch them on the break. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this. A first half with no highlights. Is this some kind of sick joke? Is it just when I turn the cameras on? Let's kick off for the second half and hope it's not a Nottingham Forest repeat. It is on key highlights, by the way. It is on key highlights. So, I mean, 15 minutes to go. I've went balanced. There we are. We have our first highlight of the game. It's a Spurs corner. It's headed over the bar. We've seen some football. We can all be absolutely delighted with that. Ten minutes to go. We'll make some changes. Marrera on at left wing back. We'll bring on Yanis Bonman in centre midfield for Arnold Gonzalez. And uh, we'll also bring on Jack Poole in defensive midfield for... Um, what's his fear? Cyan. Another highlight now. Marrera coming forward down this left-hand side. He's only just on the pitch. And his shot is poor. I think this tactic might just be kill games. <laughs> Let's uh, two highlights in this game. Two highlights. A game we dominated, by the way, uh, against one of the best sides in the league. So you were unlucky tonight, boys. Oh, I, yeah, I, I'm not even sure if I want to show you these videos, to be honest with you. I know I've uploaded the one with the Nottingham Forest game in it. And uh, it's, it, upon reflection, I probably shouldn't have even uploaded that one. But... Uh, yeah, we'll wait and see how this goes against Leeds. In an effort to try and create more chances in games, we're switching back to our more attacking tactic. It is away from home. It's probably a mistake in terms of getting the results. But, I mean, what's the point of me even showing you videos if we're not going to see anything from the game? So we'll get the kick off. We're starting in our more traditional formation that we started the season with. And uh, we'll wait and see how it goes against Leeds United. The only change to the starting eleven, of course, is a pool coming in a centre midfield instead of Lepic in at centre back. We are going to go on the counter straight away against Leeds. Obviously, with us being away from home and playing a more attacking tactic, I want to make sure we'll give ourselves plenty of options in defence. And we get set away with Pickard coming down this left hand side. Pool clears after a Leeds United free kick. 
Uh, it's not exceptionally worked well, but we do manage to keep the ball. Pool to Cyan to Music. He's through from a long go. Oh, great save by the keeper. And he kind of get on at the second ball. Cyan keeps the ball alive down this right hand side. Ah, it's a poor pass. Sid keeps it alive though. Schlup, come on, get past your man. Ah, he gets tucked down. Oh, we're a free. That was a penalty. We'll stick with this free kick because you never know. Cyan out of oh, thought he was. Why are you not shooting from there? Seems like a perfect place to shoot from. Oh, this highlights galore. We're only 14 minutes in and we've had our second one. Schlup plays it inside to Gonzalez. Back out to Schlup. Um, oh. Awkward. Jordi to my own. Bombing down the right hand side. Manon with an easy save. Puig with the corner for Leeds. Pool gets it clear. The highlight does continue with Malungu coming down this right hand side. And it's it's over. 32 minutes in. We have ourselves another highlight. It's Leeds United on the attack this time. Ezia plays it through to Puig. He hits the post. A completely open goal by the way. It's whipped back in. Ezia. That's good. Good defending. Eight minutes to go before half time. Malungu comes down this right hand side, back to music. He whips it in, back post Schlup's there. He hits the crossbar, it's still in play. Malungu uh, goes out for a goal kick. Well, we haven't been playing as well as we did in the last game, but we've certainly seen more action in the game as my own here puts Leeds United 1 0 up. I should have just stuck to my own tactic, shouldn't I? 38 and a half minutes gone. His seventh goal of the season for Tenzo Mayone. And it's a good strike from the edge of the area. Uh, keeper stood no chance whatsoever. Got it all to do in this second half. We are keeping a good amount of possession, which is nice to see. Uh, but we're not really creating too many opportunities in terms of goal scoring chances. So, uh, disappointing with that first half. We'll kick off for the second and see how we get on. Another highlight now, and it's Leeds' free kick. And they score their second goal of the day. Ruben Arayo's second goal of the season. And that puts them 2-0 up and in a very commanding position. Going at the final 35 minutes. With 15 minutes or so to go, we might as well make some changes. Marrera coming on at left wing back. We'll take off Arnold Gonzalez for Michael Bott. And uh, I think we will take off Pickard for Roy Martin. Make all three subs. I don't see us getting back into this game to be quite frank with you. Uh, we will make a couple of changes in terms of the player prof uh, the player instructions and stuff. We will go very attacking for the final five as well. See if we can get a consolation maybe. 89 minutes gone. We have ourselves another highlight. Can we win this ball and get some pride against former club Leeds United? Boxer holds on to it too long and Edward Sid is away coming down this right hand side. He gets it into the box and it's a good save by the keeper. And Roy Martin almost runs it out of play. Marrera, his cross is crap and 90 minutes gone. The highlight is continuing or over or continuing. I have no idea. And now we have a Boyd's Leeds United 2, West Brom nil. A pretty even game, but obviously they were far more clinical than we were. That's our first defeat in quite a while in the league. Um, and it's all because we get any highlights. <laughs> so after those two fixtures, we now sit in fourth in the Premier League table. Halfway there, we're on 35 points. That is absolutely fantastic. If we were to do exactly the same as what we've just done, we'd finish on 70 points, which... Wouldn't quite be up in the upper ends of our leaderboard, but hoping that we have a good second half to this season. So obviously the next episode will of course be the January transfer window. Some big games in there. Huddersfield at home, Leeds at home, Arsenal away from home, uh, Manchester City in the FA Cup. Bristol City at home, we need to win ideally, uh, just for my own sanity. And yeah... We're doing well with West Brom. I'm really pleased that we haven't completely fell off the wagon after changing formation. I don't really like doing it too often, so um, I think we will stick with this one from now on. It seems to work pretty well for us. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.